Do subscribe to Filter Copy and click on the bell icon to get regular updates. Hello and welcome to Filter Copy. So why is Jagan Mohan Reddy will get a cabinet on Saturday? And it's going to be a five-star cabinet because the chief minister will have five deputy chief ministers with him. Unheard of and unprecedented in India. But one man I can say saw it coming, the late Dasri Narayan Rao, whose movie in 1983, directed by him, MLA Edo Kondulu, had Narayan Rao playing the role of the chief minister and he makes every MLA a deputy chief minister in the movie. The movie was remade the following year with Rajesh Khanna in the lead in Hindi as Aajka MLA Ram Avtar. But let's leave Tollywood and Bollywood aside. The question is why would Jagan do so now when he's the unquestioned boss? Usually chief ministers agree to have a deputy chief minister only when it becomes politically difficult for them. Like for instance in Tamil Nadu where O Paneer Selvam's condition to return to the parent AIDMK was that he should be made the deputy chief minister. Or in Karnataka where G Parmeshwara of the Congress is the deputy chief minister to S.T. Kumaraswamy who is the chief minister of Karnataka. Or let's say in Telangana where K. Chandrasekhar Rao had initially said that he would make a Dalit as the chief minister of the state. But then he did the next best thing. He appointed Kadiyam Sri Hari as the deputy chief minister of Telangana. So the question is, why would Jagan do so in his honeymoon period? I can think of the following reasons. One, Jagan wants to send across the message that he is for the downtrodden sections of society. So the five deputy chief ministers will be from the SC, the ST, the BC, the Kapu community and one member from the minorities. Jagan also wants to convey to everybody that his government will not be a ready community uh, uh, dominated government. He also wants to look better than Chandra Babu Naidu who had two deputy chief ministers. Jagan also wants to send across a message that his government will be all inclusive and that he will give opportunity to his colleagues to rise in stature and position. It will also set off a competition among MLAs that they can also aspire to be the deputy chief minister when Jagan reshuffles his cabinet after two and a half years. But then the criticism that would arise is whether this move is aimed more at social and political populism than ensuring that Jagan gets the best talent for each ministry. Will Jagan get entangled in the caste calculus instead of working out whose temperament is best suited for which ministry? But then if it can be seen as a just reward for hard work done by his colleagues over the last eight years that the YSR Congress has been in existence, if it can motivate ministers and MLAs to work harder, why not? So I would like to see the glass half full then half empty. Thank you very much for watching. Filter copy.